Hello everyone, welcome back to the new workshop. So, in this video we're going to start with step one of this little shop build out or the new shop build out. Now I've been asked a bunch of times about layout and how I'm going to do that, so I've started a whole little series here on YouTube and we're going to kind of walk through some of this process together. Again, as before mentioned in my last video, I'll leave a card to it right there. Uh, in my last video I talked about how not necessarily my workshop, the way that I'm planning out my workshop, will do the best for you. It's mainly to take and help suit my workflow. So yours need to do the same as well. But I hope I can offer some helpful insights and stuff along the way. So the very first step is we need to come up with a plan. So let's do that now. So to do a good shop layout, first we need to figure out the dimensions of our shop. Now. I know that my entire shop is 40 by 50. As you see it here, uh, it's kind of a, a rectangle. We're drawing it with this being the front of the shop here and this being the rear of the shop back here. We're just going to go R and we're just going to go ahead and do front up here. So the section that we're standing in right now comprises roughly about a third of that shop space. Then there's a little bay area like this, and then this here is going to be the forging area in of itself. Above this space that we're standing in here right now is a full-size loft. So there's this space doubled again. We'll get into that in other videos. But for this particular space that we're working in right now, we need to kind of figure out how we're going to lay this out. So the way that we're going to lay this out is there's a little man door that comes in right here. We want, to take, we want to take advantage of marking out right now where our entry and exit points are. So there's a garage door back here. There's a garage door at the front of the building as well. There's one in the back, one in the front. There's a little man door that you walk through on the side. And then about right here, there is a breezeway door, like a little rolling track door that leads you into this area. So once you have established where all of your entry and exit places are, you basically just draw a little line across them. So this is just a proper little schematic for a shop layout. Uh, if you want to take, if you want to do a better job than what I'm doing here, you'll go ahead and wipe out the centers and just draw a line like that. And that is a good way of indicating a door there. Um, in between the spaces. It's really important to go ahead and define your space like this as your doorways, your entryways, your exitways, things like that. It's really good to define that up front because that's going to matter for shop tooling placement. So I have a panel, a circuit panel right here um, on this wall, right along this wall, right next to the entry door. So all of my electric is going to branch from here. That's another important thing. If you want to go the extra mile and you have some big windows or something like that that you don't want to block, you can draw in windows. And the way you draw in windows is, you know, you can either put a block out and you usually just do a double X through it to take and show it as a window on a schematic. So we got to take and work all of our equipment around these doors here. Again, this being roughly a third of that 40 by 50. So this is going to be um, right in the realm of about 15 feet or so to here, and it's going to be that 40 feet long. So uh, just in that in of itself is double, <laughs> double the shop space uh, that I had before in my regular workshop. So uh, that's pretty crazy to think about that. So what I'm going to work on is also I have another feature in here. I have I have little round. Uh, joists, well, support columns that support the loft above it. So I do have to indicate those on this drawing. So I'll go ahead and draw those. And they don't quite go down half of the building. They kind of just come down somewhere in like so. So this is our planning stages. So now that we have our space drawn down, now we can figure out how we're going to divide this space up into equal parts. You'll want to go and make take measurements of all the areas that you're planning on putting equipment and then translate that math here. I'm not going to do that for the sake of time in this video, 
but I'm going to give you guys a rough draft of what I'm thinking. So from this first support column, I'm going to wall off this area here, and this is going to be my grinding room. This is going to have my space to take and have my buffer and my fine finish polishing and things like that in a nice clean environment that I can keep it in, and it's going to be super well lit with some extra lights going on. Next to that, so in this area, I'm going to leave this area mostly open, uh, just as you know, a serviceable area that you can get stuff around. I can stack things in here or whatever. Uh, most likely, though, along this wall here, I'm going to put steel racks in, so this way I can hold some extra steel along here for the fabrication side of the business. Now over here between these two support columns, which is a lot wider, I plan on having my welding table that we're drawing on right now. It doesn't quite fit it, but that there is going to be my little welding table. Put WLD for welding table there. And so I have to bring electric. I know I have to bring 240 volts of current here. So I will have a grinder here, and I'll have a buffer here and this will be my clean room, and I'll probably have some cabinetry and stuff in here as well. As far as the rest of the shop goes, I plan on having my, like my drill presses and other tools that I have. I have some, uh, I have a big giant pipe threading machine and stuff like that. All that stuff's gonna go along this wall here because this is a large concrete block wall, which is really nice that it's a concrete block wall. Uh, you know, it's nice to attach things to. So my all my drill presses um, and <coughs> other machinery, um, let's say like my torches, my welding torches, things like that, they're all going to go along this wall here. Along here, I'm going to have, most likely in this corner, I'm going to have a space for fuels, additional fuels like propane, extra bottle gases for welders, things like that over into this corner, right nice and close to the exit door out the front. So this way I can wheel stuff in and out very quickly and very economically. Again, the ideal of this shop is to take and leave this open as, as open as possible. Over here, I'm going to have most likely, probably not there, I'm gonna have it up right here. Drawing it wrong, that's right, yeah. I'm going to have it right here. I'm going to have a chop saw. So there's going to be a chop saw there. And then I will probably have a band saw over here as well. And then there'll be various storage options. So that's how I'm just going to lay out this area alone that I'm standing in. The next chart that you need to draw out is your lighting. So once you have this, and I don't suggest doing this on uh, soapstone. I suggest laying this out on a couple pages of graft paper and really drawing this out in detail. It can help out, uh, especially when everything's such a wreck like it is here in my shop. Uh, that's my suggestion for shop layout. But that'll be phase one of this whole journey. The forging area itself, it has two big support columns right here and here. It has a mortise and tenon low wall in here. So this is going to be divided up into two spaces. Uh, there'll be a power hammer back here in this back corner. There'll be a great hearth here for the forge. Olga will be somewhere right in this area as well. Uh, you know, it'll be my, my anvil, if you will, will be somewhere in that area as well. And then along with vices. And then I'll have additional forging equipment probably a press on the other side of the great hearth. There'll be an area there as well. And I plan on keeping most of this area open for additional forges. Having the ability to teach classes and bring out some portable forges from time to time will be a great benefit in, in leaving this spot open. That's really what I want this main area to be, is a place where I can teach. Not only can I teach, uh, a limited amount of students, obviously maybe three or so. Not only can I set up some multiple portable forge stations, but I have enough room to drive in equipment if I need to move something um, in and out, and that'll be great. So that's it. That's kind of the basics of the layout. We started with a good, good point here. Now the next step is basically to get this place cleaned up and ready to take and actually uh, 
go to work. So there you go. There's the long-winded version of how you make out a shop plan. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video somewhat. Let me know in the comment section if you did and hit that thumbs up button. That's always greatly appreciated. Uh, that's our, that's going to be it for today. We are going to continue this process as it develops and as it unfolds, and hopefully it'll help some of you out there if you're setting up a new workshop or you think you might buy a new place someday, and you can come back and reference these videos uh, for a little bit of encouragement. It's a big, scary thing. It's a big shop. It's a, there's a lot of space here to take and deal with. A lot of things need to be worked on, so it's going to be a fun process, and I really look forward to bringing you all along for the ride. Um, over the next several years or so. Now, I do not plan on letting this series become like a 4,000 part series. You'll just see upgrades in the videos as I get back to just regular forging content, which we will be getting back to very soon. Uh, so be excited and be on the lookout for that. So if you'd like to support more content like this, a great way for you to do that is go check out our website over at blacksmithpdfs.com consider purchasing a power hammer plan or something there or stop in on one of our live streams whenever we have one it's just kind of at random right now uh, and consider throwing down a few dollars in a super chat uh, those are both great ways of uh, helping us out here at christ center Works. continue to produce great content so that's it for today thank you for watching and as always god bless you we'll catch you on the next one